Okay, hello dear friends. Let's have a cup of tea. And this one is uh, the Wulong tea from Shan Tou. It's a wonderful tea. Very good. And uh, our little tea box. <laughs> One friend said, wow, where is your other tea box? Okay, don't worry. I didn't throw away any teaspoon. I didn't throw, uh, uh, not tea box, spoon box. I didn't throw away any spoon and uh, I have two spoon box. This one is for the long spoon. You see, the box is much longer. So this one is for the long one. <laughs> okay. I decide not to use any drainer, not any drainer, not anything else. Just let the tea free flow by itself. Okay. The tea will enjoy this. It's quite a wonderful sound. There are many, many uh, formality, procedure, and uh, and um, manière, the way of drinking tea. But I'm not doing that. Here we drink tea, just uh, the very easy and the very uh, not ceremonial way of drinking tea. So we are drinking tea. We are not drinking the ceremony because this one is. Uh, it's our daily life. We live our daily life just uh, the way it is, without any anything pretentious, anything big deal, right? This is a Shantou Wulong Cha, Wulong Tea. Relatively pale color, but very strong tea. And strong in the sense that uh, it has uh, a lot of strength, really wake you up, and the cut the fat in your body but not so much in the um, in the color it will not uh, pollute your your stomach uh, it will not dye or color your stomach you drink very black tea your stomach will become black because the tea is so black right and this one is relatively pale color it seems it will not dye your stomach into black color and um, <coughs> this is a silly joke. Anyway, uh, <coughs> the tea itself has uh, this very natural fragrant fragrance because uh, because it's a good tea. Okay? And now we will uh, discuss a little bit about the color, Chinese painting color. Chinese painting color usually made of natural color and Marie's color. Um, <clears throat> I do not know what it is really inside now because with the modern production and, uh, and the demand of it, the industrialization of uh, production, I, I do not uh, know exactly what it is inside it. Let's just talk about something what I have learned about Chinese painting uh, and Chinese colors tradition. The very pure original Chinese painting color are from uh, the natural substance, the, the, the real natural stuff. For example, the yellow color is from, this one is red, yellow color is from um, <coughs> Cambodge. I heard it's a kind of a, a toxic, uh, toxic, it's a toxic, da huang, it's a toxic uh, plant. And uh, so <coughs> when you um, when you doing the painting, you should be really careful. And the other day I have students asking, um, is Chinese painting color toxic? Uh, to be to be fair, any color is uh, is kind of toxic or there is not a color that uh, completely edible. I don't know about food coloring, but anyway, uh, all these colorings so try to avoid it. There is uh, chemicals. So when I eat uh, 
uh, cakes and things, I try to avoid not to buy too colorful ones. And even macaron, I took cooking class in Paris, so I know. And even the chef told me they are there are colors, but try not to use color and uh, and uh, with limited. You, do you recall sometimes you eat something fruit when we were young? We eat fruit and then the the tongue is all become dark or black or blue. So try to avoid it. And Chinese painting color are <coughs> made of natural plants. Some color. Uh, Red color, a particular red color, are from the natural plant, and uh, it's the extraction of some flowers, some uh, some uh, uh, red um, red um, betrave. What is beetroot? It's one of the very popular color anywhere of the world. We we use almost the same thing from it, and the mineral color. Oh, here are some blue color. Mineral color. They are from a certain kind of uh, mineral mineral rocks. If you go to any museum, go to their um, <coughs> precious stones uh, uh, exhibition hall, you will see. Minerals have different color, and some has a stronger color. For example, the blue and greenish color is a, is a kind of peacock stone. I do not know the the Chinese the the, the English name. Uh, I just word to word translation is peacock stone. It's that uh, very beautiful peacock color, and uh, when you when you grind grind those colors. Um, it's a blue and greenish bluish color. You grind that particular kind of stone, <coughs> it becomes powder, right? And then you wash it and fill in water, and then the color from that stone comes out. The first uh, fusion, the first dilution, the first, the first draw. The first you extract it, the first draw of this color, the first uh, patch of water, the first uh, wash of water is the strongest color. So we call it tou qing, the primary or the first extract of the blue color. And then the second extract. After you get the first extraction, you use fill in the water, continue fill in the water, and then that's second blue. So this is a second blue. And uh, keep on, you get a third blue or something. And now the original Chinese color, I think, is relatively limited. And now with uh, industrial, with the, with the color pigment industry development, they have uh, much, much more colors. So this one is Qunqing. You can see I use um, I use uh, a very, very, um, very vivid blue color. So this one is Qunqing, and this one is a second blue. And uh, I have some other. One year I want to make a lot of uh, uh, blue and white, so I bought all these blue and white. And this one is Tai Qing. I think it's uh, it's a salo or something. Anyway, you can you can see the color. And uh, I sell them. If if you want them, you can find it on my online shop or let me know because uh, the, it takes a lot of time and energy to take the picture and, uh, and after three months the listing will become expired and uh, it's really a, quite a, a tedious job to do this. If you want it, uh, send me an email, I can give you uh, uh, much more information, more um, up-to-date information. Listing something, it's uh, taking picture, writing description, and I have a full time daytime job, and more than full time job, so it's quite uh, quite uh, uh, unmanageable. Let's use this word. So, if you hello ice cream, <laughs> so if you want, let, let me know, I will give you one of each or, or a particular one, you tell me dark blue, I will give you a dark blue. 
and this is yellow. Ah, yes, and this one is a Hulan. It's a lake blue. Look at this color, how beautiful. Okay, we will put the blue color first. Hulan, red, down. I got all confused. Arqing. Yanzhi. This is Yanzhi. Oh, Tenghuang. This is one of the most, 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 most important. Chinese painting, the original blue is, is uh, from indigo blue and Tenghuang. Indigo blue and this Cambodge yellow. Combine them to get a green. There is no pure green. Touqing, this is the first blue, the first wash, second wash of blue, white, Tai Bai, Zin blue, oh, Gu Lan, this one is Gu Lan, Shu Hong, San Qing, so this is the third blue, we can put the blue together to make a comparison. Ah, this is a peacock blue. How beautiful this color. I have tried. And uh, so, and this is a purple. Tai Qing. Tai Qing, I think we have. Tai Qing. Orange. This one is orange. Okay. So here are quite a, a few colors that you can choose from if you are interested in. There are quite some blue colors for you to choose from. Peacock blue, Gu, Gu Lan. I don't know how to translate it. I will check it. But uh, you see even the blue, they have so many different uh, Different variation of blue, lake blue, Touqing, Arqing, oh, oh. Sanqing, third blue, Taiqing. Yeah, I think one of my goal in my life is to finish all this color. By myself, it's quite. I, I will be quite desperate to finish all this color. Last night I did uh, color, and uh, and it one of the goal is to practice and to finish the color. And one thing I realize is, uh, uh, watercolor when you do not use it for a long time, it become cracked. And this one does not crack, and it always have this gluey color. And never get dried. It's not like uh, acrylic. It becomes uh, plastic after some time, right? It uh, totally dried, dried up. You cannot dilute it. You cannot touch it. But this one, when however long, it's been already six months. Still, I put water. It, uh, it, uh, the life comes back again. And uh, this is what I like about it. Those are mostly watercolor, the same as watercolor, and a tiny bit gluey, less transparent than watercolor. If I say this is uh, the Chinese painting color is between watercolor and the gouache, if you want to want to see a, a difference or want to gauge where to find, where do you feel about Chinese painting color? It's not like refined as uh, watercolor. Watercolor, some Wins, uh, Winson, Winsor Newton or something, some big brand watercolor, Chinese uh, watercolor. They are very refined and very transparent. And uh, the color does not stay even on the paper. You wash it, it goes away. And the Chinese painting color, it uh, it can be that that way, but it's more with more uh, substance. You feel um, in a good way, it's a, it's a stronger color. 
in another way, it's the, the mesh, the, the refineness is not like a, a very refined watercolor. So, and it's more compact, it is less compact than gouache. It's between uh, watercolor, Chinese painting color, gouache color, okay? So, I will have some tea and uh, and I will pack it up. Just let you know. And one friend asked me about this Chinese painting color. I have 12 color in one set. White, yellow, zhu biao, it's orange, and uh, it's like peach skin color. And yan zhi, it's a very dark. It's a very dark lipstick color, and this one is uh, is a sunrise red, and Jewish is brown color. Three, the third green, third blue, and uh, and uh, yeah, what is this one? Anyway, two blue color and the black color. So if you if you want to have this one, I still have some. You can find it on my online shop. Thank you very much. I think it's time for me to go to pick up my boy and uh, and run some of my errand. Errand and uh, it is so good. It is so good. I'm so happy. Looking at this color makes me happy, makes me want to paint. I will try as much as I can to finish them. Otherwise, when I die, I still have so many colors. This is the, the, the most wasteful thing in the world, right? We always say you die poor, you die with nothing on hand. That will be the best finishing of your life. And. Uh, I still have so many, so I cannot, I do not even have a chance to die. Bye-bye, <laughs> see you later, alligator. Don't forget, uh, in the wild crocodile. Beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Beautiful. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day.